Good afternoon. My name is Karen Edenolfi, and I am president of the Akron Bar Association. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I welcome you and thank you all for attending our pro this afternoon's annual meeting. Before we begin the program, I would request that everyone mute their microphones if they have not already done so. First, I would like to recognize the generous sponsors who have spon supported the Akron Bar Association throughout the year, as well as this event. At the diamond level, our sponsors are Browse McDowell, Brennan, Mana, and Diamond, and Retzel and Andrus. At the platinum level, Kastner, Westman, and Wilkins. At the gold level, the Akron Legal News, Buckingham, Doolittle, and Burroughs, Neekamp, Weisensell, Mootersbaugh, and Master Antonio, PNC Bank, and Vori Sater, Seymour, and Pease. We have some additional sponsors, including Krugliak, Wilkins, Griffiths, and Dougherty, Judge Thomas Teodosio and Judge Linda Teodosio, Scanlon and Elliott, the Scanlon Group, and the University of Akron School of Law. Thank you for your support. I'd like to give my deepest thanks to the staff of the Akron Bar Association. Under normal circumstances, they are among the most professional and skilled people I've ever had the pleasure of working with. However, during the last several months, under extremely difficult circumstances, they have been even more so. They have kept our Bar Association up and running from their laptops and their living rooms, and we owe them all a huge debt of gratitude. We could have never done this without you. Thank you. We have several invaluable members of our current Board of Trustees who have completed their terms and are moving off of the board. Each has contributed untold numbers of hours of, to the Bar, with the result that we are strong and innovative. These retiring members are as follows, and I would ask each of them to wave um, as their name is announced. Bill Chris, our past president. Elisa Benedict O'Brien, our vice president of membership. And our retiring trustees, Bradley Dunn, Marietta Pavlidis, and Irving Sugarman. Each of the retiring members will receive a plaque in appreciation of their service at a later date. On behalf of the board and membership, thank you for your service. I'm now going to announce the remainder of the board of trustees and would ask each of them to wave as your name is announced. Our secretary, Farad Sethna. Our treasurer, Chris Niekamp. The Honorable Allison McCarty, who is actually with us here today to swear in new officers and trustees. Doug Godshaw, Jeff Laborn, William Price, Jennifer Van Dolman, and Rick Williger. Thank you so much for your service and your support over the last year. I'd also like to thank our ex officio members of the Board of Trustees who bring so much to our table. Darren Tony from the Akron Canton Barristers. Amanda Bridenstine from the Bar's New Lawyers section. Steve Fallis from the past presidents of the Akron Bar Association. Larry Scanlon, on behalf of the Ohio State Bar Association, Dean C.J. Peters from the University of Akron School of Law, and John Mink from the Student Bar Association of the University of Akron School of Law. Thank you so much. Today would have been the day that our fifth class of leaders graduated from the Bar's Leadership Academy. The goal of the Academy is to work with the future leaders of our association to provide the skills, knowledge, and experiences they will need as they move through, through their careers. We believe this activity ensures the future success, not only of the Akron Bar Association, but the Summit County legal community for years to come. We had seven participants in our 2020 class. Ebenezer Abiyagi, Myra Cottrell, Randall Rich Freeman, John Hofstetter, Brian Merklin, Justin Powell, and Christiana Sibley. We look forward to seeing what you do with the Akron Bar Association. Although this year's 2020 Law Week celebration was canceled due to the pandemic, I'm pleased to now announce the recipients of the awards that would have been presented at that time. We will highlight each of these award winners during the month of July 
via the Bar Association's social media platforms. Congratulations to them all, and thank you for your work and contributions. The recipient of the Liberty Bell Award, retired Summit County Court of Common Pleas Judge James R. Williams. The recipient of the Public Service Award, Mark R. Munetz, MD, Professor and Chair Emeritus of the Psychi Psychiatry Department at Northeast Ohio Medical University. The recipient of the Diversity Award is the Honorable Annalisa Stubbs Williams of the Akron Municipal Court. The recipient of the United Way Wendell Wilkie Award is Vori Sater, Seymour and Pease. The Community Legal Aid Volunteer of the Year is Harry D. McKean. And the recipient of this year's Sir Thomas More Award is Dwayne Isham. Again, congratulations and thank you. Each year, a committee and section chair of the year are selected to, in order to acknowledge their excellent work during the fiscal year. These recipients will receive a plaque honoring their selection at a later date. This year's Committee Chair of the Year Award goes to the chairs of two committees. The first is to the chairs of the Lawyers Assistance Committee, the Honorable Susan Baker Ross and John Myers. The second chair to receive the Committee Chair of the Year Award is Irving Sugarman, Chair of the William C. Becker Fund Committee. These two committees presented a high quality attorney wellness CLE as well as instituted a gift card program to assist attorneys and law students during the pandemic. Congratulations and thank you for your service. This year's section chair award goes to Seneca Contouris, chair of the criminal law section. Seneca has been an invaluable ally to the criminal bar of the Akron and Summit County legal community and has been a dedicated member of our group that is working to increase the hourly rates for indigent appointed counsel in our county. Congratulations, Seneca, and thank you for your service. We have a quorum. I now call our annual business meeting to order. I move to suspend the order of business and the reading of the minutes. I would ask for a second to that motion to be made via the Zoom chat function. I'll, I'll second. The motion has been seconded. Please vote in the online poll that is being sent to your screen at this time. The motion carries, thank you. Uh, the first order of business today is a vote on the recommendation of the Board of Trustees for approval of the draft code of regulations that was sent to members in advance of this meeting pursuant to the procedures laid out in the code of regulations. Our great thanks go to Tam Adrensky and Bar Council Wayne Rice for their efforts to modernize our code uh, to meet current best practices as well as reflect changes to Ohio law. May I have a motion for approval of the code of regulations? Madam President, and I move the approval of the revised code of regulations. All right, we have a motion. May I have a second to the motion to be made via the Zoom chat function? Second. And please vote in the online poll that is being sent to your screen now. The motion carries uh, the changes to the code of regulations um, will be put in place. Thank you. At this time, it is uh, my honor and privilege to commend Karen for her work as president of the Akron Bar Association uh, for her and during her tenure and to her Congratulate her as she enters into the ranks of past presidents. And to that end, I present Karen with the past president's lapel pin, as well as the plaque, oh, right up here, commemorating her service for the Akron Bar. Thank you. 
and I think I speak for all the members of this Bar Association, Karen, when I say that you have done a tremendous job, particularly over the last several months as things have gone um, totally upside down in our, in our community as well as the Bar Association, and you have been a steady force for this Bar Association. So thank you for your service. Thank you, Hal, for those lovely, lovely words. Um, as I look back on my year as president of the African Bar Association, it, it is difficult to avoid uh, allowing the last couple of months, several months really, to color my perceptions. However, as I look back to a year ago and what has come since then, I am reminded of the greatness of the African Bar Association and the immense gratitude I will always have for being, for being allowed to be a part of that. In my first president's column for the examiner back in July of 2019, I set out 10 pillars, which was my word, um, of the work of the African Bar Association. And just to summarize, in no particular order, um, they are as follows. Uh, advocacy for the livelihood and quality of life of lawyers in Summit County, championing the rule of law, innovative programming and initiatives to advocate for and support the legal profession, a strong and vibrant relationship between the Akron Bar Association and the University of Akron School of Law, a collaborative and cordial relationship between the bench and bar, cultivation of the pipeline to encourage and support those seeking a career in the law, especially those from groups that have been traditionally underrepresented in our profession, advocacy for access to justice while balancing the needs of the legal practitioners in our community, maintaining the Akron Bar's excellent programs that provide service to our profession, such as grievance, the investigative subcommittee, bar applicants and law students and lawyers assistants, quality mentoring of law students and new lawyers, and outreach to the community to educate them about all aspects of the profession and the values that we hold dear. And as I went through my presidential year, I tried to keep these principles in mind as the bar developed programming and took on various challenges. I'd like to think we succeeded, and I mentioned just a few of the accomplishments that the bar has achieved. Uh, the bar assembled a working group of criminal defense lawyers, bar officers, and others to advocate to Summit County Council for an increase in the unacceptably low hourly rates for counsel appointed to represent indigent defendants. And while the pandemic sort of interrupted that work, we are determined to accomplish this goal and are excited to return to the effort. We continued and deepened our relationship with the University of Akron School of Law to the mutual benefit of the Bar Association and the law students. We have made membership free for University of Akron law students and look forward to increased engagement with them um, and from our future members. The Bar was a signatory to, the, to a letter from Ohio Law School deans to the Ohio Supreme Court urging the court to take proactive steps as to holding the 2020 Bar, bar examination during the pandemic. Along with the Ohio State Bar Association and other bar associations across Ohio, we and our members advocated for a repeal of the General Assembly's elimination of the business income deduction, which had the potential to negatively affect all lawyers, but would have significantly harmed our solo and small practitioners. Numerous of our members offered their voices in support, and in October, we learned that those efforts were successful. We continue to develop and host high quality CLE programming enjoyed and praised by our members and attendees. Additionally, in September 2019, Ohio Notary Services, LLC, a for-profit business that was formed by, by five of the six Ohio Metropolitan Bar Associations and the Ohio State Bar Association, and which was the brainchild of our executive director, Alan Nichols. Ohio Notary Services started the business of offering notary training and testing following the significant change in Ohio notary laws that took place in September 2019. The business has grown at an astonishing rate with the Akron Bar hosting the company's headquarters and with Alan Nichols serving as the executive director. Ohio Notary Services has the potential, potential we have already seen of providing additional income stream to the Akron Bar so necessary these days. Every day, the board and staff of the Bar strive to maintain the high quality organization you have all come to know and expect. It would not be possible without the following. Our volunteer board is made up of dedicated lawyers who donate their time and expertise to the Bar Association. We have lawyers from all areas of practice, judges, um, lawyers from public and private organizations, big firms and small, and from every stage of a legal career. While individuals may disagree, 
all members of the board are committed to doing what is in the best interest of the bar, both in the long and the short terms. To the board members, your, your wisdom, advice, and assistant, assistance has been invaluable to me over the last year. To Hal DeSasor, who takes the helm tonight, he has served as a wonderful president-elect. I hope I have provided a sufficient example of a bar president, but I have no doubt you will put your own personal stamp on the position. Hal, if you need anything at all, I'm only a phone call or an email away. And to Lisa Miller, Lisa, I can't tell you how excited I am to have you as president-elect. I'm so proud of you, my dear friend. Enjoy the next year. To the bar staff, staff who deserve our utmost thanks on every day of the year, but most especially during these last several awful months. In addition to the disruption of your non-work lives, you did not miss a beat in keeping the Bar Association going and afloat, even remotely. I and the Bar will always be grateful for your excellent work during this time and for every day. And to Alan Nichols, without whom this place would very quickly capsize, your creativity, dedication, your smooth touch, and your intelligence have vaulted the Eric and Bar Association to the place of being one of the best in the state of Ohio, if not the country. Alan has been the brainchild behind so many of our programs and initiatives, and as I previously mentioned, Ohio Notary Services would not have come into being without his vision and leadership. During the pandemic, Alan conceived of programs to keep our members engaged, and which involved our judges and members, with the result that we had excellent engagement during a time that we would not have otherwise expected it. We saw lawyers we had never seen in, our, in these remote programs, these Zoom calls that we had, um, which is the type of thing I actually really get excited about. Um, Alan, thank you. And thank you for your all support, your humor, um, and your dedication. I could not have done it without you. And as I conclude, I thank my firm, Retzel and Andrus, for its support of me during this past year, and for all the attorneys at the firm who assisted me. Thanks also to my family for their support and understanding of this task that I undertook. And thank you to all, to all of you, for your confidence in me and allowing me to have had one of the best times of my life. It has been a pleasure and a true honor. Thank you. At this time, Hal DeSasor is automatically elevated to the position of the Akron Bar Association. And it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the new president, Hal. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for uh, those kind words and for your service and all that you've done. It's remarkable to hear all the things that have been accomplished over the last year. Um, we're here on Zoom and I, I came across a, a tweet the other day that I think kind of sums it up one of the most remarkable um, developments has been the free tier of Zoom because it has a limitation of 40 minutes. Uh, and I read that that was the single greatest advance to meeting productivity that had ever been seen and people would actually pay for that. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to try to keep my comments reasonably short. I can honestly say that uh, when I accepted the nomination as president, I never dreamed that I would be giving my speech as incoming president to a camera. Uh, and hopefully to some socially isolated members who are watching and maybe some who are in golf carts waiting to tee off. I want uh, you to know that this puts a lot of pressure on someone in my position. Um, normally, you would have to listen politely as I droned on during a dinner meeting, but not anymore. There's no captive audience here uh, and maybe no audience at all. It's very difficult to say on this end of the camera. So I'll keep this short and sweet, which is kind of like trying to edit a 30 page brief down to the eight pages that a court will actually read. Um, as my tenure as president has approached, the one thing I find my, have found myself over the last few days and weeks uh, waking up to is this saying that the Chinese reportedly have, which is, may you live in interesting times. The only problem is it's not really considered a saying, it's more of a curse, like you would use if you were in court and you're opposing counsel objects and you don't really know what to say and you say, well, Your Honor, I would hope that my counsel live in interesting times. Um, so the fact is the interesting times are upon us and they're not going away anytime soon. Anyone who has worked with the Bar Association, who has attended any of the meetings or the CLEs or gone to court or tried to go to court, 
read the newsletter over the past few months knows that the Bar Association and the legal profession in general is in the midst of very interesting times. The challenge for me and the incoming leadership of the Bar Association and actually for the entire profession uh, is to turn this interesting period of time into an opportunity. And trust me, there is an opportunity in these interesting times. Where there's an opportunity for those who practice law and to find membership in this organization to be truly rewarding. We can, must, and will turn the latest upheavals into an instrument of personal and professional cohesion and for the lawyers practicing here. On that note, uh, and if I may, I'd like to just revisit my relationship with the Akron Bar and my route to where I am today. I've been a member of the Akron Bar since I started practicing law, but I was not always an active member. My active involvement grew out of my service on the Akron Law Library Board. The ALLA operated the old library in the fourth floor of the court for a long time. Due to some legislative changes that occurred, uh, it ended up not operating the library and it ended up becoming an orphan organization with really nothing to do. At that time, the library board decided to merge into the Akron Bar Foundation. And in order to do that, we needed to restructure our not as a non-member nonprofit organization. So it was left to me and Pat Vance and others on the board to figure out how to do that. And one of the things we had to do was pull up all the or, old articles of incorporation and the amendments over the many years uh, to put all this together to, to be able to undertake that. What I found in going back, which was truly remarkable, was that the articles of the Akron Law Library Association went back to something like 1885. And they were handwritten. They were a handwritten set of articles of incorporation. And these articles were signed by some 20 to 30 lawyers, all filed with the Secretary of State. And these names were of some that you would even recognize today. Not that they're still practicing, except for maybe Carmen Roberto. But, the, <laughs> but in looking at that list of names, there was something about seeing all those handwritten names on that charter that struck a chord with me. The lawyers found common purpose in banding together as a profession, even though their practice undoubtedly caused them to be adversaries in their trade. They started an organization that was to last 130 years and still to this day continues to be a resource to the practice. It meant something then to work together for common cause and it means something today as well. Lawyers do not and cannot agree on many things and we carry on the disputes of our clients. But what we can agree on is that we are better lawyers when we work collaboratively in our community to improve our profession. That is what the IFM Bar Association is for and that's what we will continue to do. In the past few months, Lawyers, courts, and even governments have been challenged. The systems that we have taken for granted have changed. I mean, we can't even say, hey, I'll see you in court because the court's not even open at this point in time. I mean, things have truly changed. Just as in 1885, with the founding of a library for courts, we must reimagine the common purposes that we all have to advance our profession. What does it mean to practice remotely? What does it mean to meet clients, courts, and counsel via video conference? In a profession that is all about relationships and face-to-face -face persuasion, what do we as lawyers do and what do we need to advance the interests of our clients and be successful? I don't think we even have considered all the ways that our practice has changed over the last few months. From the pandemic to the suspension of some basic First Amendment rights, to the George Floyd tragedy and the strengthening and awareness of the Black Lives Matter movement, the profession is having to adapt the way we practice law is different now than it was even in February. I guarantee you that the Bar Association is committed to adapting to this, to serve the needs and to meet these challenges. We need all of you to lend your voice to the Bar Association on what our profession needs and how it is going to look going forward. Over the past several months, Karen Adenolfi has led the charge in adapting the Bar Association to the new service model. It has been remarkable to see that leadership in action with her personal touch and sensitivity to the needs of members of the association. I hope to continue that approach. We will continue to develop tools for the practicing lawyers to practice effectively in this new age of Zoom and internet meetings and court appearances for however long that lasts. 
We will continue to review our membership levels to provide different levels of engagement for the association. We will take a good hard look at CLE now that remote access has altered the continuing education paradigm. The bar will take a look at its role as advocate for social justice. The association is beginning to promote conversations in that area and will spend time considering how the association can advance social justice in a way that encompasses all viewpoints. In these efforts, I wanna give a huge thanks to the Akron Bar staff. From Alan Nichols to Ikel, to Erica, Thomas, Mary Beth, all who have worked hard during this time, even though they effectively have no office to go to. I also wanna thank Lisa Miller for agreeing to step up to become by, uh, president elect. She certainly did not plan on beginning her service in this new world, but she is an effective member of the team and is always someone who is, has well thought out views and ideas. And while I'm giving out thanks and in closing, I want to thank the lawyers and the, and the people at Brennan, Mann and Diamond, uh, many of whom have been very active members of the Bar Association over the years and will continue to do so. BMD is now 20 years old and it's growing and going strong. Thanks partners, thanks, and thanks for working with me over this upcoming year. And finally, and most importantly, I wanna thank my wife, Mary, and my children, Annie, Margaret, and Hillary. They have been my main support over three decades. I will note that one of them decided to become a lawyer, despite my fervent pleas. But I have to say, Hillary, it is great to have you uh, as a colleague and a fellow member of the association. I look forward to working with Alan, the staff, Karen, Lisa, Chris Niekamp, and so many of others who give their time to our mission. And as we give, go forward in this new practice environment, we will have work to do. And for that job, I will quote the great Hannah Montana, let's do this. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. I will now pres present the report of the nominating committee with respect to officers and trustees. For the position of president-elect, the nominating committee has nominated Lisa Okolish Miller, law director of the city of Barberton for the office of president-elect. There were no other nominations received by the Bar Association within the time frame designated by our Code of Regulations. Nominations from the floor are not permitted. Congratulations, Lisa, and best wishes. The nominating committee has nominated Michael Karst of Kastner, Westman and Wilkins for the position of Vice President of Membership. There were no other nominations received by the Bar uh, within the time frame as designated by the Code of Regulations. Nominations from the floor are not permitted. Congratulations, Michael, and best wishes. The nominating committee has nominated Hannah Laurie M. Gambrell of Browse McDowell, Andrea Whitaker of William T. Whitaker Company, and James Wilkins of Kastner, Westman and Wilkins as new trustees in accordance with the nominating process. There were no other nominations received by the Bar Association within the time frame designated by our Code of Regulations. Nominations from the floor are not permitted. Congratulations, new board members, and congratulations specifically, Hannah Laurie, Andrea, and Jim. At this time, all newly elected officers and trustees will be sworn in. I, Al Desasur, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and the Code of Regulations of the Akron Bar Association, and the Code of Regulations of the Akron Bar Association. I will faithfully discharge my duties, I will faithfully discharge my duties as president of the Akron Bar Association. As president of the Akron Bar Association. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. All right, and now it's my pleasure to swear in uh, Lisa Miller as president-elect. So raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Lisa Miller. Do solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear to support uh, that I will support the Constitution of the United States. 
that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and the Code of Regulations of the Akron Bar Association, and the Code of Regulations of the Akron Bar Association. I will faithfully discharge the duties. I will faithfully discharge the duties of President elect of the Akron Bar Association. Of President elect of the Akron Bar Association. Congratulations, Lisa. Thank you. And now I think we need our uh, current board members and our three new board members that will all need to be sworn in. Um, so we're going to do that collectively. And actually, I'm a board member as well, so I'm, I'm swearing myself in. That's the first, maybe. All right, so repeat after me. I state your name. I, I Andrew Whitaker. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I, swear. I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support, I will support the, Constitution the Constitution of the United Constitution States. of the State of Ohio. Constitution, Constitution of the State of Ohio. Ohio. And the Code of Regulations of the Akron Bar Association. And the code of regulations, regulations of the Akron Bar Association. Bar I will faithfully discharge the duties. I will faithfully discharge the duties of trustee of the Akron Bar Association. Of trustee, of trustee of the Akron, of the Akron Bar, Bar Association. Association. Congratulations and welcome to our new members. Congratulations to all. Thank you, everyone, for attending this evening. At this time, we have a few messages for Hal as he embarks on his year as president of the Akron Bar Association. I think you'll all enjoy the following year. Hal, congratulations on assuming the position as president. I am so happy for you and hope you're excited about the opportunity, even with the difficulties of the last several months. It has been one of the great honors of my life to serve as president of the Akron Bar Association, and I hope it will be for you too. I know this is a difficult time for any leader, but I have absolute confidence that you will do a wonderful job. We are so fortunate here at the Akron Bar to have a superb and top-notch staff, as well as terrific members who are always willing to step up and help out. I have found these things to be the saving grace um, and the greatest assistance during my president year, and I'm sure you will too. You also, like I did, have an excellent president-elect. You know that I'm only a phone call or an email away, and I'm absolutely happy to be of any assistance that you want or need. Don't hesitate to reach out. Most importantly, though, enjoy your year as president. Congratulations and best wishes. Hello, everybody, and especially hello, Hal. I want to congratulate you, Hal, on being elected as the president of our Akron Bar Association. We have a wonderful and noble tradition of lawyers helping lawyers and helping the community here in Akron. And I can't think of a better person than you, Hal, to steer our association, especially through these troubled and difficult times. I also want to congratulate our new incoming members on the executive committee, new incoming members on the board of trustees, and finally, of course, all the new section chairs and co-chairs. Together, we're going to work hard and make this a great year. So once again, Hal, all the best to you. We look forward to your leadership. Thank you. I want to heartily congratulate Hal Desisser for his ascension uh, as president-elect of the Akron Bar Association. Well, actually, he's going to be elected uh, president here shortly. And uh, it's my pleasure to have known Hal for many years. Actually, I became aware of Hal Desisser's existence as soon as I passed the bar and um, started my job here in Akron because I discovered he was a fellow demon deacon. Uh, he and I both attended Wake Forest University Law School. And there really aren't too many of us here in Summit County. So I immediately found out who he was. I was pleased when I finally ran into him to share that news with him. And uh, it's been my pleasure also to work with him with the Bar Association over the years and especially recently as a trustee. Uh, so I am so excited for Hal. I know he'll be a worthy successor to Karen Adenolfi, who's done a fantastic job. So, so good luck, Hal. And uh, it'll be my pleasure to work with you on the Board of Trustees. Hal, congratulations on being the new president of the Akron Bar Association. I'm so glad, happy for you, and very happy for the Akron Bar Association. I remember when you first joined the Board of Trustees and then serving as president-elect. We all know you'll do a great job. And just remember, 
it's only a year, so you want to make the most of that year. I still remember when I knew I only had six months left and realizing that it was over very soon. So give it all you got. Um, don't let the other things get in your way and just enjoy it. And I'm sure you'll do a great job. Congratulations. Entrepreneur Jim Ron said, the challenge of leadership is to be strong, not rude, kind, not weak, bold, not a bully, thoughtful, not lazy, humble, not timid, proud, not arrogant, have humor, but without folly. Hal Desisor is strong, kind, bold, thoughtful, humble, proud, and has a wonderful sense of humor. Hal, I wish you all the best, and I know that the bar will be well served by your leadership. Congratulations. Sarah, I want to congratulate you on becoming president of the Akron Bar Association. It is a well-deserved honor. Uh, the Bar Association is fortunate to have someone like you serving it. I will tell you that after my time has ended, which uh, is officially now, uh, I have enjoyed every minute, even when the times were tough. And at the end of your term, at the end of your term as then uh, a past president, you will look back and uh, be very happy that you volunteered to do this. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Hal. This is the second time I've been blessed to serve alongside you. I look forward to working with you and another year of hard work and lots of laughs. Congratulations. Al, working with you these last few years while I've been on the board, uh, I've come to know you as an individual of integrity, someone that has an honest curiosity, and someone that's truthful. Uh, and because of those characteristics and many other wonderful characteristics that you have, I want to personally welcome you as our president to the Bar Association. Um, I met Hal through my wife, Kathy, who was the first woman lawyer at Buckingham, where Hal joined the first practice of law. Uh, and we uh, became friends uh, with he and his family. And Hal and I have one thing in common. As you'll see in my resume, I always put down what other people have told me. I'm, I, I'm only the second smartest lawyer in my house. Kathy's the smartest. And Hal's got a brilliant wife and three daughters who are high achievers. And as a consequence, you know, if you have an issue with Hal and you want to find out what he really thinks, you say to him, Hal, have you checked with the ladies yet? What, 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 what does your wife and daughter think? And now we know that his daughter Hillary has joined him in the practice law just to make sure that Brandon Man and Diamond has someone to look over Hal when he's making decisions. Hal will be a great leader for our bar associations. He's experienced, he will listen to all, and he will especially limit, listen to smarter people. Thank you. Hal, congratulations. I know you're gonna do a great job and make an immediate impact. Good luck this year with your presidency. Al, congratulations on uh, becoming president of the Akron Bar Association. I, I, I wish we could celebrate in person. Uh, I know that even though you are not an Akron Law grad, you have strong family ties to the law school, and I really look forward to working with you next year. Congratulations again. Hello, Hal. Just wanted to drop you a note and congratulate you as our new Akron Bar president. I know that we have faced new challenges during this season, but I believe that bright days are ahead. And I believe that you have been called for such a time as this to be our Akron Bar President. So congratulations. It has been 25 years since I became a lawyer. And you may not remember, but uh, 24 of those years, you and I have practiced law together in the same firm, uh, all except you know, my, initial, uh, my initial year out of law school. You have taught me so much over those years. You have been a great mentor to me, but uh, an even better friend. So I'm, I'm very proud about uh, you becoming uh, the president of the bar. I look forward to practicing law with you for many more years, hopefully. Um, but uh, I am sure from the experiences that we've had together that you will make a great president uh, and you will do great things for our bar association. So with that, again, congratulations and good luck. Hi, Dad. I just wanted to say congratulations and I'm so proud of you on your presidency at the Akron Bar Association. You are not only such a great father, but a wonderful role model to me and to a lot of other young attorneys in Akron. 
Um, you've worked so hard for all of your success and you deserve every last bit of it. Again, congratulations. I love you and I'm so, so proud of you.